Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we'll discuss something which is often confusing to the uh, experienced C++ developer also, which is like new keyword and an operator new function. So yeah, you got it right. Operator new is a function and only new is a keyword and there is a big difference. So yeah, before going there, let me tell you one thing. New is a high level stuff which will allocate a memory for you and then construct an object on top of that memory and then it will give it to you. Okay. So if you see this new foo, this does two things, allocates the memory. So it's a dynamic memory allocation, right? So it will create a memory and then construct whatever the object you want on top of that. And it will give you that so that you can store into the exact same data type pointer. And similarly, if you are using new, then you have to just use delete, not operator delete. And this delete will do exactly two things. It will destroy the object first on top of that memory, meaning the destructor of this foo is called first and then memory will get destroyed. I mean, deallocated, meaning it will be given back to the OS so that OS can reuse it. So it will be given back to the OS. So yeah, this is new. I don't have to run this. I know what would be the output. And I think you also know what would be the output. First, it will print foo constructor and then it will print foo destructed. That's it. So let's look at another example, which is placement new. And here we will use operator new function. So this is a function. Okay. So this operator new is a function. I told you already, but it just allocates the memory. It doesn't construct any object on top of that. So you're just telling that give me a dynamic memory, meaning memory created dynamically of size foo just the memory don't construct the object on top of that so you are getting a void pointer here that's why it's kind of a raw memory for you and then this raw is there right you will use placement new operator and construct foo on top of that memory now you will use new so this is placement new way of constructing the memory i have a video for placement new if you are new to this placement new then you can watch that video also but in short placement new will create an object on the given memory. So like if you will call only new, like we were calling before here, in this case, you did not had any way to tell to the new that, okay, construct this object on this particular given memory. But here you do have that option. You just tell that dude, you create this object on this memory. Okay. So we saw this new, I mean, only new and it was doing two things for us together. But here we have separated out. I'll tell you why it is important. So now you are done with creating a memory and creating an object of on top of that memory. Now, let's suppose you did some operation and stuff. And then now you don't want that object. You have to explicitly call the destructor first. So if you go back and see, you have to destroy. I mean, delete was doing it for you, but now you have to explicitly do it. Now you see this, you have more control over what happens at what time. So that's why this is really very important. It's not important for everyone. If you are a system designer or you work mostly on low level stuff where you want more control over something like a memory pool or object pool or stuff, then in that case, you would really want this because let's suppose you want to create some object and then destroy it, but don't want to destroy the memory because you know that you are going to again create some different object and you may again need some memory. So you don't want to go to OS again and again so that it will waste so much of time. So you want to keep that memory and construct object on that memory itself. That's why it's very important. And yeah, you deleted that. I mean, you, you call the destructor still your memory is not free. You had just simply called the destructor of that foo object. Now, and yeah, obviously it is a manual destroy, not an automatic destroy how it was in delete operator. And now you have to use operator delete to actually delete the memory. What you constructed with operator new It's simple, right? Yeah. So let's discuss a few key points and then we'll sum this video. So let me pull a table here so that it will be very easy for us to just summarize this. Yeah. So we have new keyword and we have operator new and Allocate memory. Yes, both do the allocation. 
call the constructor first one does call the constructor but second one doesn't call the constructor calls destructor on in delete yes this guy does but you have to do it manually in this case and freeze the memory yes this frees the memory this one doesn't free the memory meaning you have to tell delete operator that deallocate this memory and placement new support yes if you see this this is placement new syntax and we are using new keyword only for placement new whereas for operator new there is no i mean it is not applicable for this operator new because that's not how we do it and yeah if you are confused i mean if you really want to dig into placement new and stuff maybe you must be getting some video here and there you just click on that you should be able to redirect to that video okay so yeah i think i'm done here thanks for watching guys i'll see you in the next videos bye bye take care